No more will the family of faith be shut out of the public square. The Indianapolis Public Library has been hosting Drag Queen Story Hour for children in spite of parents being outraged. So Kirk Cameron decided to do something about it. He's the author of a series of Christian books for children, and he applied to the library to come and read his book to children. Now, predictably, the library refused to allow the reading of a Christian book. But after being threatened with legal action for their clearly unconstitutional act, they caved. And when Cameron showed up to read, the crowd was so big it was the largest event ever held in the library's history. But instead of allowing them to use the auditorium, the library jammed them into a small room up on the sixth floor. In a social media post, Cameron said, No more will the family of faith be shut out of the public square. So I salute Kirk Cameron and his friends for taking on the bullies who are stalking America's children. Now this is something that churches can do in all 50 states. Just let it be known that Christian Story Hour for Children is coming to your local library, and the outrage of the left will provide <laughs> all the advertising you need. If you read it, they will come. If your city has a public library and set up a Christian story hour for children, consider it a new and vitally important ministry for your church, especially if that library has been doing drag queen story hour. If the Christian church won't stand up for the children of America, who will? Now you have a way to do that. Every church I know of has retired men and women who would love to bring the Christian message right back into the public square where it belongs with a children's book of Christian faith. This is Wild Bill for America saying, think about it. Thanks for watching, and America, bless God again.